market makers have, have uh, really become what they are today uh, due to rule changes uh, that have been uh, forced on the industry by the SEC and uh, uh, the, but the market makers do today are very much the same as what the specialists did in days gone by. Uh, that what they attempt to do is minimize price variations, reduce volatility, increase visibility by creating sales if and when they can interact with the orders that flow in and out of the book. And by doing that, they, uh, they help to establish over a long period of time the brand uh, name of the company to be associated A in the industry and the company, the brand name of the company itself. And <clears throat> understanding what market makers do uh, and, uh, and being very sympathetic to the aims of the company, we, try to, we kind of like, uh, we want to get in sync with what the company's aims are. So if we can uh, create volume by interacting with orders that flow in and out of our, what we call our DBK, which is a book, a computerized system that we have on the floor of the exchange. When we can do that, when we can minimize price variations between sales, and when we can create transparent price discovery, then we're doing our job. And uh, A, the company benefits by having transparent sales, lots of them, hopefully, and the, uh, the company benefits uh, by having its shares on the tape, so to speak, they become visible, they become liquid, they become transparent, and all of these benefits flow to the company. And of course, to ourselves. Now, we're not necessarily in this business because we're all angels. Uh, this is a uh, money-making business, and uh, we get our income by buying and selling inventory just the way a car dealer would, you know, would create uh, profits and losses for himself by buying inventory and selling it. So that's what we do also. We buy and sell our companies for our own account, and we also act as, uh, not necessarily as agent, but as the auctioneer for the orders that flow in and out of our DBK book.